All my life I had to fight like Sophia Right my wrongs in this world that's full of evil Most of the faces looking at me are real deceitful I don't believe Hey Scorpios and welcome to y'all energy check for June 2022 This is your girl Empress K Coming to you guys, okay So let's see what's going on Um, I already pre-shuffled the cards And what I got was addiction, love We got the Nine of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles um, I definitely see an upgrade coming in for you guys. Um, your person is your person could be upgrading, you upgrading. I definitely see a lot of changes within y'all life when it comes to financial wise and building an empire. Um, I see a lot here. Let's get the vibe out though. Spirit, clarify this energy with a vibe card. Give us the vibe. Give us the song vibe. Okay. What song resonates? Okay, so I'm going to take that card because it flew up. It was upright. So we got 112 Cupid. It said, girl, if I told you I love you, that doesn't mean that I don't care. And when I tell you that I need you, don't you think that I'll never be there? Baby, I'm so tired of the way you turn my words into deceptions and lies. Don't misunderstand me. When I try to speak my mind, I'm only saying what's in my heart. So your person is like everything that I say is just it 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 don't matter no more. It's like I feel this person feel like you didn't gave up hope, you didn't gave up on this connection, and they like you just done and over. It's like whatever it is that's in your mind, you taking it and you running with it, and it's like you're not looking looking backwards when it comes to that situation. Then we got jacket edge walk out of heaven and say I'm rolling down a lonely highway, asking God to please forgive me. For messing up the blessing he gave to me, I see everything clearer now. The night's as black as black as it's ever been. Without my girl, I'ma lose it. And I pray that he just shed his grace on me. So your person is like, they didn't F up big time. Not only do you not trust them no more, but it's like, you're not um, even around. Okay, you're not even around. It's like... You withdrew your energy from this person. You may have stopped talking to this person. For some of you guys, it's like you're not you're not putting too much into it no more. Y'all focusing on yourself because with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles is single life. It's like you prospering alone. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So it's like you didn't gain what you needed to gain within yourself by yourself. Okay, I do see when it comes to the, the vibe that you had for this person, you was codependent. Um, you was there anytime that this person needs you, you was always available, always there. Um, you didn't resist this person too much, but they resisted you. It's like you was showing this person love and you was trying to give them love, and in return, you you lost yourself in the midst of giving them that. So for some of you guys, it's like y'all gaining back y'all love within y'all self the passion that y'all used to have before y'all got into a connection with this person okay spirit clarify the queen of pentacles clarify the queen of pentacles clarify the queen of pentacles spirit okay so we got the five of swords and then we have the four of swords here so when it comes to this situation, you guys definitely went through a lot. Y'all went through hell. Um, Y'all had to recover after coming through with this person. It's like what they made you not trust in them. They made you not believe in this connection no more. They forced your hands. They forced you to take a break. They forced you to focus on yourself. It's like it was draining you so much that it doesn't matter how much you slept or how much you try to focus on you. It's like your mind would just go elsewhere. It's like you couldn't get a break with this person. Every time you looked up, it was something. It was something you said or something you done or... Mm -hmm. It's like this person made you feel as though you wasn't worthy or they love at times. And at times they'll be like, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. But that's how you interpret it because of the way that they were acting towards you. The things that they were saying and the things that they were doing. They wasn't really speaking or communicating clearly with you about things. It's like they left you in a in a daze or wondering what the hell just happened here. And it's like they never came back to fix it either. So it's like they would say things, shoot it out in the air. You would express how you feel and 
what you thought about the situation and they just didn't do nothing afterwards. It's like what you were saying or what you was going through didn't matter to this person. I do see here where you got tired of either waiting for false hope or waiting for this person to give you this offer. It's like you stop focusing on it. Mm hmm. You stop focusing on it. You stop waiting for it. You, it's like here, it's like you upset. It's like you 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 put your emotions in it. You didn't put all of it because the four of cups is like you you had a limit to it. Okay, so it's like you knew how far to go with this person, but it's like you didn't think that you would have to end the connection all the way. Like you was like you knew you was gonna have to hold back, but you just didn't think that this will make you go into this mood where you just over the connection. You don't even want to be in a connection no more. But some of you guys, it's like you were patient. You was patient with this person when it comes to opportunities. You had them, but it's like you was waiting for this person to get their stuff together. And it's like while you were waiting for this person, you saw yourself missing out on life or missing out on the things that really matter to you. It's like you was losing sight of was truly out there it's like you thought that this was your only hope this was your only option and it's like you were afraid to jump to something new so for some of you guys you were afraid to start something new but yet you didn't want to um go through what you was going through either with this person okay spirit so why why were they lying why why were they lying spirit they were lying because with the five of, of cups, they feel like you would regret ever meeting them. They feel like if you were supposed to know all that they did when it comes to life or when it comes to how they achieve their success or how they achieve their wealth, you wouldn't like it. Okay, they feel like you wouldn't like what they had to go through. Or for some of you guys, they may have made it seem that they had it all, but really they didn't. Okay, so it's like they they were fighting they fighting to keep something either they fighting to keep a home they fighting to keep a, a um a car they fighting to keep a broken relationship but it's just not working and they want to cut their losses but they just don't know how so they don't know how to free themselves okay so why did they take a break from Scorpios what made them want to take a break from Scorpios mm. They wanted to take a break from you because you was calling them out on everything. It's like, I know you're not doing this. I know you're not doing it. I know you're not. It's like, you knew. You knew. And it's like, you was calling them out on everything. Because look at that song said, every time when they would say something, it's like they had something back to say in a negative way in this song, 112. So it's like, every time when they would tell you something, it's like, nope, I know what you're doing. You're doing this. You're doing it. And it's like... This person was making you feel sorry for them, but you was like, nope, I'm sticking to it. It's like, even though you tried to persuade yourself that that wasn't what it was in a connection, it's like your better judgment kept nudging at you to believe that that's what it was because it is. It was the truth. It's like the truth kept coming to you. The truth kept being revealed about what this person was lying about and what they was holding on to. Okay. Let's see, sir. What is these options about here? What is the choices? You had the choice for a breakthrough. For some of you guys, it's like y'all was like, if I was to stop waiting and leave this person behind, I know that there's better. But it's like y'all just didn't know or just, it's like when it comes to this situation, it's like, I want to wait just in case this person is this breakthrough, just in case this person is this person. It's like, even though I have all these other options, it's like something here just keeps me stuck on what this is here. It's like whatever it is that they trying to give you or whatever it is that they promise you, it's like you wondering what it would be like if they would actually come forward with this. So it's like for some of you guys, you already see the future or want to know what the future would be like if it, you was with this person. Some of you guys, y'all just feel like y'all, this person need to learn a lesson. You need to teach them a lesson here. Okay, why is the Ace of Swords here, Spirit? What is the, yep. It's like you want this person to wake up to their senses and realize that they're not stuck. That whatever it is that had them feeling stuck, they're not stuck with it. It's like, look at this. For some of you guys, it's like this person feel like 
they got a deck wish on them at times as well too that's what i'm seeing too this person may feel as though if they was to leave this person behind or this whatever this is that they've been keeping up with somebody's gonna somebody's gonna lose big time Mhm. Mm because look we got these two people in here it's like they may be the the one that's bringing in everything in that household if they're in a connection with someone else or it's like if they were to take a break everything will fall apart so it's like they can't take a break right now from work they can't it's like for some of y'all you're like why this person don't have time to spend time with me or why does this person always have to do this i have to do that they never they never rest in they never um in a down mode it's like they always up and going up and going up and going but i really do feel as though you are trying to make this person realize that this is not the end of your life it's like you like if you want to do something else you can you don't have to stay in this one spot you don't have to stay here you don't have to put up with what you're putting up with okay spirit why is they feeling stuck why is they feeling stuck why is they feeling stuck mm, what i said i'm telling y'all they feel like they'll be leaving somebody out in the cold They feel like somebody wouldn't be able to survive without them or something wouldn't flourish if they weren't there. It's like your person, your person may be, and queen of, queen of pentacles, it don't matter the sex because these are not gender based. But when it comes to this situation, you're, you taking care of yourself or you doing what's right for you while this person is doing what's right for everybody it's like they may have a lot of responsibilities they may have to take care of a, of many people or a lot is, is a lot is depending on this person or a lot is counting on this person and they want to move forward they want to move forward to common waters they want to come back in and reconcile with you because they do love you but it's like it would be a fight for them to walk away from whatever this is and they feel like if they was to do that it would cause whatever they working on to go off balance it's like they the ones that keeping keeping things afloat where they at or keeping things um running and going and still being like having life in it whatever the situation is the other person or whatever this is could lose out big time mm -hmm. look at that girl with snake yeah, so I feel as though somebody is holding on with their life. They're using your person. They're using your person to be able to take care of the things that they love, the things that they want. So right now, Spirit is definitely telling you that to, to heal when, when it comes to this connection. Heal the way that you think or heal with whatever it is that you feel that this connection has got you to where yourself, you don't know who you are no more. It's like because we got self right here and, and this is the nine of cups so it's like fulfillment you want to feel fulfilled again this person is not happy where they at but you are you happy alone you could you you see that you can be happy by yourself but this person is like i'm giving everything to dead situations it's like i don't feel like this is what i'm supposed to be doing or this is who i'm supposed to be giving myself to so spirit is saying indulge in yourself until this person wakes up from whatever this is that got them distracted from you because this is a twin flame connection so you and this person both are codependent so when it comes to this connection y'all both been through some things that made y'all not want to love again so y'all both look look how we got love twice and it's self-love here twice it says unconditional love self-love one is passion affection attraction then we have here focus on self okay self-worth time to heal shadow work self-appreciation so when it comes to this situation spirit is saying not to lose yourself still appreciate yourself even though this person is not viewing you as are you feeling like this person is not giving you the right gesture or the right love or the right amount of love spirit is saying the reason why this person can't give you this because they don't love they self yet they're not attracted to themselves so how could they be attracted to you so for some of you guys you may feel as though y'all getting rejected by this person but really they this person got somebody sucking the life out of them somebody is sucking the life out of this person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this person they sad they grieving 
they grieving over this connection they they grieving over the situation with you but it's like i'm telling y'all if this person was to leave this person behind it's like they know that something would something would happen with that person that's why they don't want to unleash unloose they self just yet it's like they don't want to hurt but it's like look at how they releasing themselves though because look the snake is here suffocating this person whatever this situation is that they can't seem to let go of that they feel like they have to keep feeding it okay so it's like they dealing with a, a, a vampire is what we call them leeches somebody that sucks the energy or the blood out of you okay so i do see right here with the heartbreak with heartbroken it's like they're going to detach themselves but they're going to still be heartbroken by having to, to set themselves free from this person because it's like they don't they the type of person that don't like to see people hurt or see people down okay so what does this person want from them what does this person truly want from them spirit look at this they want they want to keep this person there so this person won't give you no second chance won't give love no second chances they don't want this person to go nowhere okay so it's like they have to when they're going to put it into this situation it will be over spirit is saying that when they do decide to end it it will be over they will realize there's no growing it's no going back okay it's no backsliding it's no backsliding there's no going back it's no trying to see if it's gonna work no second chance the second chance is me trying again okay and they like no it is what it is with that situation and i do feel as though when they're gonna come in want to try to give you another offer it's like for some of you guys you met this person when they were trying to detach themselves away like you came in right when this person had detached themselves from this person this is because i think it was like this so I'm just telling me to put it, put it like this. Okay, so yes, yeah, so I do feel as though when it comes to this situation, they have to break themselves free for them to come towards you. For them to be with you, they have to let go of this snake. But this snake is refusing to let them have a second chance at love or a second chance at life, period. They feel like your person don't deserve it. Or they feel as though they won't have nothing here so it's like when it comes to you and this person this person is very very attracted to you they very very attracted to you they can't stop hooking up with you they can't stop thinking about wanting to be with you it's like you're in a thoughts in a mind real heavy um you're very tempting to them because we got attraction flirting dating and look at this dating 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 so this is who they that's who they want to be with but some of you guys they heartbroken for hurting you they feel like they, they feel, they, yeah, they, they feel like they lost out on something. Mm-hmm. Okay, spirit, what do they need to work on with themselves? Why is self-indulgence here? Why is self-indulgence here? And something you missing. What is they missing about this connection, spirit? What is they missing? Okay, when it comes to this connection, you thinking about the same, you, you, okay, your thoughts about this connection, Spirit is saying that it comes from something in the past. It comes from something that you haven't healed from yet. So they want you to know that this person is triggering something in you because you dealt with this before. And it's like you, you're not seeing that there is growth and stability in this connection because of this. So something got your vision, vision clouded. Maybe you dealt with a third party situation before and it didn't go as planned. Let's see here. What is the hurt? What is the hurt from the past period? What is the hurt from the past? And look at that, my nose itching. Mm -hmm, some news coming in. What is the, what is the hurt from the past? The hurt from the past is somebody getting married on you. Is somebody you still hurt by either some dealing with somebody that you wanted before in the past and they were already married or already in a committed relationship and they told you that they would leave their person for you or wanting to be with you over their person or you maybe even felt like you was getting somewhere with this person to only get snaked by this person it's like not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation called person boundary still angry and we got union wedding marriage soul connection eternal life everlasting promises so somebody promised you that they were going to do something with you and they didn't do it and it's like you held on to this because look at this 
look of it. It's like you already didn't dealt with this before this person came in. So you didn't dealt with somebody trying to lose, leave you before. That's why you're trying to control the scenario, what's going on. That's why you're trying to walk away from this person. That's why you're choosing to focus out on yourself. And it's dragging you into realizing that somebody made these same promises that this person made but didn't follow through with it. That's the problem. Okay, so Spirit, what's going on with them in this third party? What's going on with them in this third party? Whoever this third party is. Karmic relationship, the chaser, and we got the butterfly. So every time your person try to break free from this relationship, it triggers this person to chase behind them. And it's like they're stunting this person growth. They stunting this person from going to the next phase, which is them healing their inner childhood, which is them healing from this connection too. It's like from them healing. It's like they stopping this person from being greater than what they are from going to their higher purpose or their higher calling or their higher potential here. Look at it. They're the snake. Look, I can't make this up girl with a snake and a snake they're in competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman this person refused to let this person go look at it because they know that they if they end things with this person their life is going to be full of love and it's like then they're going to be able to love themselves unconditionally because look at here we got unconditional love self-love one is passion affection attraction then we got uncon unconditional loving giving and receiving affection falling in love so if this person in this connection with this person they will be able to receive the love that they truly need or the love they truly seek okay it's like they will be and they will be able to give it back to you too so it's like it's a healing cycle between you and this person it's a healing cycle. Oh my God. Oh, it makes me want to cry a little bit. Okay, so let's get this person thoughts out. Let's get this person thoughts out. Let's see. Let's see. Y'all growing within y'all self. That's crazy. Y'all both growing together. That's why this is your twin flame. Y'all both going through the same stuff, just in different situations. They do want to come in and work it out with you. They do love you. They want to work it out. They feel like you have their heart. Okay. All right, Spirit, what else do they want to say? Mm-hmm. They sorry for you even feeling like you're a fling to them, like you don't matter, okay? That's what they want to work out. They want to work out of you not thinking that you really, they really love you, that they really want to be with you. That's why that came out about the love situation and you telling this person, no, you don't love me. So for some of y'all, this person's like, I do love you. Like, nope, you don't love me because if you love me, you wouldn't be doing this. And it's like you choosing to not see to their love. So it's like, look, are you dragging their heart that they trying to give you because you don't want to believe them you don't want to trust it because you've been through that before what are they true intentions spirit what are they true intentions they was pretending to be someone else so when it comes to this connection they ready to reveal themselves to you they ready to show you who they truly are and there was someone interfering in our connection, in our relationship. So I told y'all it's something that would lose out if this person would walk away. Okay, spirit. So why is addiction here? Friends or family disapprove of this connection. Mm-hmm. Please be patient with me. Okay, so when it comes to the situation why you feel the way you feel is because you know that someone wouldn't approve like you wouldn't even approve to of doing this or somebody doing this to you so you don't want to be in a mix of something else so it's like you like i'm trying to be patient with you i'm trying to deal with it but it's like i can't just sit back it's like that's what y'all can't do it's like these are things that y'all can't do it's like one y'all feel like y'all breaking a family y'all feel like y'all family and friends wouldn't like this so it's like y'all y'all thoughts y'all subconscious is playing games on y'all right now because we got secrets and deceptions here it's like when it comes to this situation you know there's more to the story you feel like this person you feel like you have to resist this connection until they tell you the truth and that's why oh 
Oh, and these cards flew out. That's why they got I was pretending to be someone else. You know that they pretending to be someone else. And it's like I'm resisting until they come with the truth, spirit. What is the truth? What is the truth, spirit? What is the truth behind this situation? What is another reason why the collective is resisting? Okay. Finances are a problem. I'm planning on reaching out to you. So for some of you guys, y'all y'all resisting the connection because y'all haven't been growing financially wise since y'all became in contact with this person. Y'all lost sight of hope and sight of vision because of this love. So y'all like, if I don't give this up, I'm going to lose everything I have. If I don't give this up, if I don't focus on something else because y'all main focus was on if this person was being honest to you or not and it's like it, it the the y'all reminisced about everything within this connection it's like it was too much on y'all mind it was on y'all mind very very heavily and it's like y'all couldn't stop thinking about this okay spirit what is going to happen when they let go fully what is going to be the energy i love you when you let go fully, that's when you're going to realize that this person do love you. Okay, spirit. Look at this. They feel you. That's crazy. Y'all both feel the same way about each other. Twin flames that came out again. Y'all both feel the same way. I'm telling y'all. They trying to give you love, but it's like you don't want to believe them. They trying to learn how to love themselves. You already feel like you know what you want, but it's like you trying to control the love situation because you didn't already been played before. It's like you don't want to be a fool the second time around. <sighs> don't worry, y'all. It's going to play out. It's going to play out. It's going to play out, spirit. Let's get a let's get a message. Let's get a message. Cause I feel like y'all need one. Cause this is some heavy energy here. Scorpios. Okay, spirit. What is the advice for both of them? We're dealing with two twin we dealing with twin flame spirit. We dealing with twin flames. Give us some advice. It say close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So it's like right now, you find yourself in a situation where you don't want to open up. Okay, you closed off. For some of you guys, y'all blocked. Y'all heart is blocked. Y'all need to do some heart chakra work. Start telling yourself, um, y'all open for love. Y'all open because it's like spirit is telling you that they giving you love, but you're rejecting it in a way. We got transformation here. Y'all feel as though things won't go as planned my right hand is itching my right hand is itching y'all have some money coming in definitely okay your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transform all things so spirit is saying that just because this is the current situation where you guys are off tasks or off paths are not feeling the same right now like one feel like they giving too much of love and the other one feel like they they need to stop so somebody is not, cause look, both is, and it's like I'm telling y'all, one of y'all feel like y'all giving too much, and the other one feel like nope, they need to block this connection, they need to resist it, they need to focus on something else, cause they not looking, they not looking, y'all both not looking each other way, so y'all both distracted by things, and right now the distractions is y'all mindset, y'all both have two different mindsets, but I, it's, but if y'all think together at the same time, and look at that spirit is saying only time will tell, and I told y'all about that trust situation, it say transformation occurs through accept, acceptance, once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And look at this, we got transformation here. So in order for this connection to transform, you have to be willing to trust your person. You have to be willing to trust that they do love you, that they do care for you. The only person that's blocking this connection is you. And it's hard because I know if this person does have a third party, you're like, oh no, oh hell no, Empress. You think I'm about to just put my guards down and this person end up walking off with this person? No, I'm not about to do that. But Spirit is saying you have to trust that y'all will find each other because y'all are meant to be. Our things will play out the way that they supposed to because y'all are meant to be okay so let's see one more card spirit because this this is interesting one more card spirit twin flames clarify this look at this mm. when y'all put what you got and what they got and y'all put it together y'all gonna have a joyous beginning a joyous outcome with this devil card here y'all definitely tied to each other spirit wants you to know this 
y'all are truly tied to each other this person also know as well that they feeding to a dead end situation they know that they getting bamboozled they know that they getting played they know that you are the better decision you are the better choice you are the better option they know all this okay so with the knight of cups just give them some time they coming in they coming in mm -hmm. they coming in to give you what they have because look at it. This is crazy. This is crazy, you guys. <sighs> They've been blinded by lies. They've been blinded by lies, deceptions. Um, this person is definitely holding on to this person real heavy, y'all. I'm telling y'all. They can't breathe. They can't breathe. They feel like this person is suffocating the life out of them. So thank you, Scorpios, for tuning in. I hope that you guys like that y'all reading. Make sure to hit that like subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know how y'all felt about y'all reading once again thank y'all for tuning in and y'all know like i like to say bye bye for now